today is a really important day. Yeah, that's the day that we've been waiting for, I would say, like at least eight months. Almost a year. Can you guess what's gonna happen today? Check what, what we, we have here, I mean, what we don't have here, <laughs> to, in order for this to be a sailboat. What's missing? A mast. Yeah, today we are finally gonna install our mast in place. But in order to do that, we need to take this mast off. And also, we have some other details on the mast assembling that we want to show you. Yeah. So, enjoy. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And for the past year, we have been building our own time shipping container house. So we can travel around knowing that we will always have this little place that we can call home. But guess what? We just found our dream project before we expected. This abandoned sailboat. So we are going to stop building the house for a couple months to bring our boat back to life. And then we're going to go back and finish the house.
testing to make sure the lights are working fine. Otherwise, we can install the mess and then need to change it all over again. So now he's just using the drill battery. Check, check this out. Seems like it's working. And we also are gonna try these ones. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. You just connect and that's it. And now we just get this wire. That's it. Easy like that. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah, by the way, we're gonna use all BNG electronics, but we're gonna talk about that in a future episode because we go in depth of everything we're gonna have, the entire system. This is just a tiny part of the system. <laughs> Yeah, this is just a dry fit. We still need to apply Sikaflex here and we still need to fix this wire. But for now, it's just because we wanted to see how it looks and if, if it works, if everything is fine. But I'm gonna go away now because everyone say I talk too much and today <laughs> she's the one that's gonna do a mess tour because we are gonna put the mess up today and it's our last chance to have a proper mess tour now that we have 99% of what we need. We don't have the radar yet, but we're gonna have soon. Well, let's just start the tour of our mast. <laughs> I'm shy actually. Starting from the top, this is the navigation light. We are using OptiLamp. This is Amazonia Minimum Meeting 4. And we are using these lamps that are sold worldwide, but they are producing in our state, in Santa Catarina, close to our hometown. So that's pretty cool. And here we have the wind sensor, and here we have wind windex. So coming up, oops, coming down, <laughs> we have the aluminium steps and the stainless steel steps. We already installed the non skid on them. We have all the lines, the colorful ones, they are pretty cool. Here we already have this one. Duca can say the name later. We can write down here. I don't remember the name. We have already the support for the radar. That's the aluminum one. Pretty cool. We already have the spreader lights. Here one and here one. It's the same brand as the other one on the top. Up to up to them. Here we have the little thing for the flags. So when we are traveling and we need to have a flag, we have one support here and one here. We also have non skid here on the spreaders to use them as a step. Here is just temporary because we put some sika flex here to hold the wire in place. They are all in place, the, the terminals, I guess it's terminal. 
And here we have this whole mess of lines. Aren't they beautiful? I was so excited to choose the colors of the lines. Look at them. So we already have the winches in place, as you know already. These and the baton car here. Oh, this is good. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? And we also installed already the cables for the lights. The only tricky one is the one for, for the radar because on the top of the cockpit we have a little, a little neck. I don't know the name. You can write down here. And we need to put the wire for the radar there. But there is the tip that's too thick and we need to cut the wire in a spot and then to clamp the tip back. This is gonna be tricky, but we can manage. We are gonna manage to do this. Oh, this the noise is stopping. It's very good. I guess that's it. The tour of our mast. Did she give you a proper tour? Did, you, did she properly explain the whole mast? Did she explain that the radar is gonna go in the last part that we need to apply to install today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm really curious to see the radar here. Did she explain that we're gonna use all electronics from DNG? Oh no, I forgot this. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. We are gonna install 100% new electronics, except for one small piece that we are gonna explain later. But we decided to go with DNG that it's really good for sailing boats. I mean, like, it's the only, I, yeah, I think, in my opinion, at least, it's the only brand that makes electronics made for sailing, like with sailing futures. So we decided to go with BNG. And we are going to install the radar from BNG today and the wind vane, the wind sensor from BNG and the rest is going to be a little bit in the future. There is one more thing that we need to install today before the mess goes up. What? The line. The oh, we need to install the string here. We are going to have a small string here. So this won't do it. This. Because they say that the good thing about mass steps that is that you have mass steps to go up to take the Hilliards. lines and halyards out of the mass step. Yeah, so basically the mass step is to fix the mass step. <laughs> we like mass steps. We can go up to take pictures and to see the view and to fix things much quicker and safer. So we, we like mass steps, but we need to have this little string. Otherwise, we might have trouble in the future. Time to work. So. Time to work. <laughs> That's an experiment. Let's see if it works. We need this line for the halyard not to cross the step. <laughs> Works, I think. Okay. By the way, the, this idea was from a guy that owns a boat just like ours. It's almost 100% like ours. It's the same model as our boat, the same hull, but with two masts, it's a catch, and we fix kill. And he went around the world for 10 years and went back and forth from Europe and he said these nylon uh, fishing strings last for 20 years for him so that was his idea and let's hope it works and this guy has two books and that's actually so cool because the first time we found out about this kind of boats was through his books yeah. and we didn't know that and seven years later we bought the same boat <laughs> no surprise and now we talked to him we exchanged messages with him he watched the videos and that's pretty cool. And who wants to come here as soon as the yeah. quarantine is over? Yeah, he might be here when we splash the pool.
the truck has just arrived. Now it's for you. Mask up today. Today is an important day. Actually, it's probably like one of the biggest. Uh, how do you say? I forgot the word now. Yeah, I mean this word. <laughs> Someone's excited. Have you seen how he's arrived? Yeah, it's right there. Let's go. Let's go. I have like two cameras with me, plus Duca's camera, plus cell phones, plus drone. <laughs> Milestone, that's the word yeah, I was looking for. I, I think it's an important moment. So close. If you want to see the boat without a mess, take a look at now, because really soon we're going to have a mess. We're going to miss the boat like this, but we're not going to miss it at the same time. Counting the minutes, no, not the hours, not the days, the minutes to get the mess in place. It's pretty cool, man. Do you want to show me smiling? Yeah, mask yeah. It's hard to smile with a mask on. You, you cannot tell someone is smile. she, smiling. She, she's excited, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see the boat the last time without a mask. Yeah. It's gonna look beautiful. Yeah. It's gonna be a sailboat, not yeah. a boat anymore. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we have a boat. In a few minutes we're gonna have a sailboat. That's pretty cool. Whoa, the radar reflector is just reflecting my face. <laughs> Picture of the boat without yeah. a mess. <laughs> yeah, that's basically the last picture of the boat without a mess for a few years, I hope. But there is a mess behind the boat. Oh. Which seems to be.
also we have a mess now. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, we just finished the first day of assembling the mess because it's gonna take a little bit more than one day. Uh, they already installed not not 100% like 70% of the stays because tomorrow he still needs to measure the stay for the general furthers and also this one that he didn't install yet but we have back stays we have uh, I don't remember the name of this one specific <laughs> and we have two halyards holding the forward so it's fine and I said that the they these are gonna work until tomorrow and then they're gonna do the final measurements? Yeah, because uh, as they stay new, uh, each wire gets, you know, like loose on the first day and then he tights up a little bit more and then it's gonna be fine. And he said that the back ones are the worst ones. <laughs> so good. But the good news is I went up the mess for the first time and that's so cool. That was... The, the, the steps are so good. When can I go? Tomorrow maybe. I'll, I'll think about it. Okay. Yeah, the steps are really, really good. Really easy to go up. Pretty good. That's good. Yeah. How about the, the difference between the, the stainless steel and the the to be aluminum honest, one? No difference. I might prefer the stainless steel actually. Seriously? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But because I might prefer. they are stronger. Yeah, they, they are solid. Really good. But for now, I think it's time to rest, right? something that used to be on the boat. Now that we have a mess, we can have a tent. This is much stronger than the one we were yeah. using, so let's see how this fits in place. We still need to figure out how to put this. <laughs> We do have a mask now. <laughs> That's so cool. Now it's for real. Check this out. Yeah. If you have good eyes, there is one thing there we didn't show you. What is it? Can you see? We don't have a general four layer. I mean, we do have one, <laughs> as you can tell, and we didn't show you us installing. No. Why don't you? Don't we? Why didn't we install the second one? Is you need a piece for the other general four layer because we want to do this a little bit higher than it is. So we are gonna show both of them at the same time. And yeah. but for now we are custom made a piece for the general furler. Yeah. The manufacturer of the general furler, a lot of people don't know that. In Brazil it's the main manufacturer for hardware, Nautus. And a lot of people never realize that, but they do a special project. So if you have any modification you need, you can contact them and they can do modifications also, not just standard shelf products. So yeah. our furler it's mm, too low on the deck. That means like if you have a racing boat that's good because the Genoa would be like really low on the deck but we have a cruising boat. Not a racing <laughs> boat. So we want the Genoa higher so it's more comfortable. In this way it's not gonna hit the poop on both sides. And as they are a factor they also run some tests to check the quality of the product. Yeah, the we, product. yeah we could have done this modification here with a welder but this is such an important piece that's for safety is really important that we wanted to do it properly. So they run tests actually on laboratories, on universities, they use the right material, they do it the right way. So we decide to trust who builds that for, makes that for 40 years and instead of somewhere else. And we also need to wait for another piece that they are making because 
in order to have the general furler on the deck, we need to have a, a pin, but two, two? Thick, the thick new one. For, yeah. for the place we, we have. We used to have a 12 millimeter, I mean, we used to have a 10 millimeter stay, now we have a 12 millimeter stay. That means that the, the pin, the have. pin for the taggle, Tago? Tago, yeah. The pin for the tag is too thick now and it won't go through the hole. So if we use a thinner pin, it's gonna be too weak, we believe. So instead of that, we ask them to do in a different material. That's this one, I'm not sure, I don't remember I the name. I don't remember. Yeah. So basically this material is 1.5 times stronger than regular stainless steel. And that's the reason why they are doing, we are not doing. Yeah. But for today, enough talking. Uh, Anything else? I have one more thing. <gasps> True. Tomorrow, or I mean Tuesday, 6 p.m. Brazilian time, we are gonna have a live in another channel with another couple with another YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, we have a couple that are friends of ours that are circumnavigating and right now they're in French Polynesia, they left our hometown and they also have a YouTube channel, we talked about them already before Unforgettable. and they asked us if we want to have a live chat with them on their channel. Mosquitoes are getting crazy. It's yeah. unforgettable sailing. We are gonna leave the link for them on the first comment on our our comment section yeah. below. I think it's gonna be a really cool chat because we are in yeah. completely different situations. Yeah. They refit their boat I think like three or four years yeah. ago on the yacht club on our hometown. I saw them doing, I would walk by because we used to have a sailboat on the club and I used to see them exchanging like replacing the engine and a lot of things and now they are on their third boat already in, in French Polynesia and that's so really cool. They so are in quarantine French Polynesia, we are in quarantine here in Guarujá, Brazil yeah. and we have different situations, they are already on the water. Yeah. <laughs> so gonna be some I don't know how it's gonna be the talk but it's gonna be something so nice. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, 6 o'clock Brazilian time PM. Uh, other than that? Spectrums. It's time to welcome on board our new patrons for this week. So Welcome, Welcome on board. board. Brian, Melissa, Elizabeth, E. John, Peter, Derek John, Peter, Mindaugas, Ken, George, Ivan. And we also want to thank donations through our PayPal. So thanks a lot, Caroline and Luis Albert. Guys, thanks so much. And, and we'll see, see you guys, guys tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Unforgettable sailing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow and next week. See you next week. <laughs> as we are a cruising boat, not no, us. We have not. We are. We are not. We are, we are a boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. As we have a sail <laughs> No, you can do it. Tired. No, you can do it, yeah. As we are a cruising... No, we, we are... We have... No, let's... Okay. Week. As we have a... Cruising... No, last, last chance, otherwise I'm gonna say... It. Okay. As we have a cruising boat and not a sail... <laughs> one more, just one more. Yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm.